This is the brand new Rincon Gen 2 Smart Ring. New design, new features and improved on all levels. And also way ahead of the competition. It brings a lot to the table, especially for the price point and especially compared to most competitors, which are very expensive and not even as thin and as convenient as this one. Superb tracking and now also with sleep apnea monitoring, aka OSA monitoring. Very, very important for sleep quality, also for your health and that's a world's first. And of course, it can also precisely track all other fitness and sleep data as well. Great charge case, great looks for both. It feels awesome while wearing it. This thing is like a feather. It is actually incredibly light. It's crazy, super thin. So yeah, looks and sounds amazing, right? But is it actually that good? Well, let's find out. We got the new drip from Rincon, their new Gen 2 smart ring that is currently getting launched on Kickstarter and it's already heavily funded. It is quite amazing. So yeah, if you're interested, then check out the product links in the description. I will listen, link the best deals for you. Yeah, now let's check it out. That's the box right there. This is a temporary prototype box, of course. We just have this on the back. Of course, it's a brand new release, so we don't have the final box yet. But in here, we have the resemblance of the main box with the brand on the side and the ring on top. Looks very nice and sleek with the logo right there. Bottom, top, just blank. And on the back, we have all the small print right there. So let's open it up. So on top, we have the paperwork and underneath we have the charge case right there. Wow, nice and heavy. We will also get a cable and the ring. Whoa, no way. This is like a feather. That's everything inside the box. So let's get to the accessories and to the manual. We have the envelope with all the paperwork inside, namely the quick start guide and a more detailed instruction manual. So the paperwork, then the cable in here. And this one is a very nicely sleeved USB-C to USB-C cable with the plugs that are nicely branded too. And we have the case as well. Compared to the ring, the case feels super heavy and valuable. Shiny indention with the logo on top. The rest looks matte black with the corners actually chamfered and shiny. Really nice design. It's slightly rounded and has curves all the way around. Really cool. So outside curves and an inner curve. Really nice for actually opening it up. Status LED on the front and on the bottom we have all the small print and also a nice rubber base all the way around and it's magnetically held together. Magnetic lid feels really nice and sounds awesome and opening it up is awesome thanks to this slight curve right there and on the inside. Yeah it looks like that. We have the two charge contacts right there and the ring is magnetic too. So okay can fit on both ways and I guess we have activated it. Yes, yes, yes. So to recap, the paperwork, the cable and the base, aka charge case. Done with the unboxing, let's get to my first impressions and then of course to a close overview. And the ring itself is literally like a feather. You can't even feel it <laughs> that much when you just hold it like that. It is so light and it's super thin, but most impressive is the lightness in my opinion. You wouldn't expect it when you look at it from this side, but when you look at it from this side, it's actually really thin too. And sliding it on just like that. Look how thin this ring is. It's crazy thin. So yeah, let's take a close look. Well, we have it from this side and we have it from the other side with the small LED in here. We have the charge contacts on the inside as well as all the sensors right there. And we also have two of these protrusions right there. And here we have it from all sides, super thin, nice chamfers. We have the same matte black body with shiny chamfered edges. In here we also have the ring size and the QR code and the brand. So all in all, it's a really lovely design and a super light and small and thin ring. And again, charging it, just drop it in, check the LED, perfect. Not bad, right? So let's check out the app and then of course test it. The ring should be activated by now and when it gets to the app, the publisher is Rincon and there is only one app, you can't go wrong. So let's open it up and first of all, let's select a region. Austria for me, next, agree and there we go. Rincon is always with you, so let's get started. Next and let's also register for an account. Okay, let's set the password and let's go. Okay, let's continue and going forward, let's connect a ring. I'm using a brand new one, but starting the search should do, give it all the permissions of course and we have have it right there, right off the bat. Let's go 
herring click on pair and just like that paired successfully and we can do the update right now let's click on start update and the app alone is a telltale that this is not a just a new kickstarter project that will not deliver this is already a fully fledged system this is gen 2 much better new hardware and the software is already top notch so let's wait for that to finish success done so this is the app we have the wellness balance all the activities stress level and also down here the health timeline then down here in the middle we have trends we can share we can check out the reports and we have the historical data this will get filled after time of course and lastly we have the meet tab so let's see as you can see we are connected to the ring the battery is at 100 and 12 days remaining that is incredible so aside from the user guide and data management and all of all of that good stuff we have the aversion management that's fine and we have about Rincon. Lots of resources right there, but most interestingly, settings right there. We can set the goals. All of that looks great. We can even add widgets to your phone. Background, awesome. We have the function management. That's a great feature right there. I take naps. Notification settings, of course. All right and general looking good to me and now it's getting interesting this one let's check that out first we can activate that maybe if you go for a intense workout and you need the real-time tracking all the time but anyway so now we have the ring settings we have ring settings tool right there here we can remove it we can activate the airplane mode for the ring that's actually really funny if you ask me the ring has an airplane mode that's crazy the future is now we have all these specs of the ring so the size firmware generation then here we have resources all the manuals so the sensors they need to face downwards great resources for all sorts of topics and we also have an faq segment great app this app is outstanding yeah and with that said i am ready for tracking and the first test will of course be sleeping so Three nights with the ring. Let's put it into the case and check this out. The feedback between the ring and the phone is extremely fast. And as you can see, I'm down to 75%, but charging just takes a good 20 minutes, super fast. And as you can see, I earned a few badges by now. Optimal sleep, wearing, stress, okay. That's pretty cool. Personal records, limited activity. So this will fill up with more usage, which is a gamified experience for the app, which is awesome. But without further ado, let's check out my sleep. The first night was really bad. The second one was great. In this one, I also did the OSA measuring and this night was really, really bad as well because check this out. So this was the first night, only five hours and two minutes. And the actual sleep tracking is super precise because my time spent in bed was almost six hours, but it took me a bit to fall asleep and also to wake up. And same for today, time spent in bed was five hours. But as you can see, my actual sleep was only four hours 27, which is super accurate. And I love that because my previous fitness trackers, they would count pretty much the whole time spent in bed as sleep time. But this is not the case for the ring. It's way more precise than that. As you can see, you can also rate your day pretty much pretty poor. So almost three hours missing to my eight hours of sleep goal. Sleep quality at 60. Oh my goodness. It actually says it right here. Time asleep, time in bed and my sleep efficiency. So compared to smartwatches, these rings are much more precise by a order of magnitude it seems this finger measuring just works way more precisely than the wrist measuring method we have awake ram light sleep deep sleep not too bad and we even have heart rate absolutely incredible mind-boggling depth of analysis right there we even have skin temperature that is that is crazy cool respiratory rate and the sleep summary okay let's check out august 9 how is that different okay heart rate right 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 so Time in bed was nine hours. Oh yeah, right. I watched a few videos before going to bed and sleep efficiency 90%. So I think my sleep is actually quite okay when I actually go to bed on time. Lastly today, absolutely poor. Very similar results. Yes, skin temperature. Sleep tracking is next level precise. Absolutely crazy. And by the way, if you go for the sleep apnea monitoring, it works like this. You will actually have to start this with start monitoring basically. And when you're done, you slide this to the right basically when you wake up. Okay, so this got aborted, which is perfect. And the phone needs to be pretty much next to you. So I hooked up the phone to a charging cable and then I went to bed. And as you can see, I did a full measurement on August 9th. And then you will also get a full 
analysis. And in my case, thankfully, as it appears, I'm not suffering from sleep apnea. I'm sleeping on my side, usually on my right side, and everything looks fine. We have a few events recorded, but apparently that's nothing concerning. We have very precise SpO2 measurements. If you remember from the previous measurements, these have way more points. Also says right here, no abnormalities, everything nominal. We even have the number of drops in blood oxygen. Incredible analysis right there. And I would need to Google most of that to understand it. This will of course drain the battery faster because it's measuring in a way higher frequency, but you could do this easily every day. And when you brush your teeth or something like that, just charge it up five minutes and it's back to fully charged, taking it off and in it's my, I mean, yeah. For washing your hands, you have to take it off basically anyways. I mean, I do it and then you can just charge it and then put it back on. So the ring is a clear 10 out of 10, especially for the sleep measuring. And now let's go for an activity. Yesterday I was wearing the ring. No, actually on August 8th, I was wearing it. Yeah. On this day, I was going to a park at least a little bit. So I have 3,500 steps and 1.5 K calories. Activity intensity was low. Yep. I was just walking basically. Yep. So now let's see, as you can see, the exercise tracking is still in beta. I'm going for a weightlifting session. So I guess I will pick this. So yeah, let's move places and then get some exercise in. So here we are the dojo and on my way, I just transported it in the charging case. And you will also get a notification that is fully charged. So let's get started. I will put it on my finger. Again, I think indoor running would be best. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness, let's go. So warm up. Yeah, I will actually do a bit of indoor running literally for, for the warm up. And I also wrapped the ring just in case, just to be safe. Few wraps of tape so that I won't damage it with the bar or anything like that. So we already have the heartbeat. That's looking good to me. Okay, I will go for a few fast rounds. 92, more. <laughs> Up, uh, 97, 103. What's that? Warm up zone reached. Nice, very nice. Still rising. Nice. All right, good. Almost breaking a sweat already. So the real time heart rate is definitely great. So now I'm in the fat burning zone. Definitely what I need. Funny. And let's see how I will handle the bar. Oh my God. Okay, the ring is no problem actually. The ring is away from the bar, that's great. So obviously the distance tracking will not work in this mode, but most importantly, I think is the heart rate anyways. And as I said, this is still in beta. So I'm sure that there will be more modes coming soon with even better monitoring, also SPO2 levels and all of that good stuff. If you can do it while sleeping, then you should also, well, then the ring should also be able to do it while training. All right, so I will go for a full session. Actually, you can see it right here, a bit of bench press, a bit of deadlift bit of pull-ups. So let's get to the result. So let's call it a day, very efficient workout. And there we go. So obviously ignore that. Calories consumption is a bit low too, but these two are correlating for sure. We have the duration and now that's interesting. We have the heart rate and we have the different zones. This is clearly made for running where it's a continuous motion. So a continuous heartbeat. So the refresh rate isn't real time when you compare it to weightlifting where you have very short but extreme peaks. This will not get recognized right here. And in the end right there, I took the ring off. But doing a workout with the ring, first of all, it's working. Even deadlift with the reverse grip, no problem. And also for a set, you can quickly just take it off, place it somewhere and then put it on again because the post set analysis would be the most interesting part anyways, especially how fast the heart rate will go down, blood saturation, all of that good stuff. And I think the ring is actually good enough to say the least to get this Data. So I can't wait for a weightlifting mode. This would also be interesting for boxing and stuff like that. In a pause, just pop on the ring, get real time exact measurements. But yeah, as you can see, the app looks top notch. It's a gamified experience. It's so much fun. We even have cool graphs right there. I love it. And the hardware itself, top tier as well, super precise and fast, accurate tracking, just a massive thumbs up all in all from my side. The Gen 2 ring is absolutely amazing. So as you saw, the Gen 2 smart ring is a great smart ring to say the least. Improved on all levels compared to the Gen 1 ring with many new great features like the OSA monitoring. A world's first that previously could only be done in sleep 
Labs. And now you can do it at home. That's incredible. The build quality is outstanding and the wearing comfort is top notch. It is unmatched. It is just such a design marvel. It's incredible. Charging it also works fast and nicely. And aside from the world class sleep tracking, you can of course also use it for all sorts of other fitness related tasks too. It is precise and fast. You will get a great fully free companion app with tons and tons of metrics. The ring is available in different colors, in different sizes, of course, you will get amazing battery life, 10 to 12 days for a single charge. It's just awesome. And again, all of that while being the thinnest and also lightest smart ring available to date. It is water, dust, dirt and shockproof IP68 rated. You can take it underwater up to 100 meters. So all sorts of underwater action and diving. Deep sea diving, 100 meters is completely mind boggling. But yeah, you name it, no need to worry about sweating while you work out. And it of course works with both Android and iOS. And there is no subscription fee whatsoever. The app is completely free and it will stay free. An absolute no brainer, especially to most of the competitors. Just amazing value right there. And also definitely drippy. Check out the product links in the description if you're interested. I will listen link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.